Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first installment of Cafecito Time. It's your boy, Chingo Bling, the Ghetto Vaquero, the Rey de Fort Play, the Versace Mariachi, aka Baby Glock. Con oh la... my God, that was such a big intro. I need a whole remix like that. Con I'm... la mera jefa, la dueña, I, wasn't, la I was about to patrona, set you up. La chingona. mera chingona, la patrona, la que manda, la que rifa. I don't know, rifa? La más marihuana. Ay, Jesús chingada, <laughs> What is up? Can I have some of this cafecito? Sure. What's this up? is cafecito time. Uh, shout out to DJ producer Big Rob in the building. How's it going, everybody? I'm off camera. Manning the ship. So, uh, hey, this is going to be a quick little episode, but we want to just mainly we'll be chiming in on headlines, pop culture. We'll roast things. We'll react to things that are happening. Uh, but today we could just zoom in on just stuff that we're watching on Netflix. First of all, shout out to Mo Amer. Shout out. Shout out that to was Mo so Amer. Good. If y'all have not tuned in, Mo Amer has like three things on Netflix right now. He has the series, right? Scripted, takes place here in Houston, has a lot of cameos. And then you have... His, Which we haven't finished watching. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Because there's just so much Mo Amer. Can't have enough Mo. <laughs> we need Mo and Mo. Uh, shout out to Mo. Um, he's been on the podcast before. The, the What Did He Say podcast. But he also has two specials. The first one came out a couple years ago. Did you see that one, Rob? I didn't. I forget. I think it was called Vagabond or something. Yes. Is that what it was that called? That was what he was promoting when he was here. Man, it was just so powerful. And then this new one is powerful, too. I may or may have not shed a tear. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dog. It's just the way he ended it. Uh, and just uh, he shows for those that haven't watched, I guess it's going to be your little spoiler. Um, so at towards the end, I'm not going to say it's the end. Towards the end, um, he basically talks about he goes back to his hometown and he hadn't been able to go back in years because of the situation um, with Palestine. Palestine. Yeah. So, um, you know, he showed his experience and uh, it's actually on video and it was just very touching. And I was like, this is supposed to be comedy. Why am I crying? Yeah, it's really well done, man. Super dope. Hilarious. <laughs> funny. I was just taking notes. Uh, thoroughly entertained. And then what's the one about the lady who killed all her family, all her kids? What is it? What is it called? Um, that one's called dang something. Something mother. My Casey Anthony was it? No, 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 dude. no. It's it the, was something like um, she was in the Latter Day Saints church, but then got mixed up with like this other Latter Day Saint dude who had his own little religion that he was trying to freestyle and whip up, where like he was Jesus basically, and he started telling her and putting stuff in her head. He was like, "Hey, so your husband's a dark spirit." It's like, yeah, you got, you know, he gave her a list. Like, this one's a light spirit, third dimension, dark spirit. <clears throat> Sins of our degree. mother. That's what it's called. Sins of our mother, bro. Mm. It's so sad because um, I think everybody has known a, a female or two who have. Where they get digmatized. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then you marry Where them. they will put, um, you Chorizo know. Chorizo before their kids. Exactly. You know, I didn't want to say it like that, but geez. You know, and then. <laughs> It's crazy that you still are in jail and you're still calling this person who killed your kids to see if he's okay, bro. They didn't really show, because dude, the seven-year-old, they killed the seven-year-old, her little son was autistic, and then like the 16-year-old daughter, right? But they didn't really go into detail. They just showed where they dug up. She still hasn't confessed. They still have to go to trial in 2023. What? So it's still not even done. Uh, they found the body finally, like in 2021. On Homeboy's property. On Homeboy, in, yeah, exactly. Idaho. In his pet cemetery. And they figured it out. First of all, there was one reporter who was on to him at first when, like, when, when it was only one death, when it was like her husband. Her husband her died. Her husband died. Her husband died. And Pobrecito, he and was. And they sent killed him on purpose. Like, she's like, it she was. Did? Well, well they, they did it in like a self-defense type of way. Like it was all a setup. So they had split, right? Because she was already digmatized by the other dude. <laughs> so when he went over there trying to like check up on his kids or pick some shit up or something, it ended up with like, oh, he was getting aggressive. There was a fight and he picked up a bat, allegedly. And allegedly the 16-year-old daughter was like, hey, took the bat away or something like that. Or she put out the bat and he took it from her. So now the the dead dad has the uh, bat and then homegirl the the killer the the white the lady her brother was like her hitman because he was kind of brainwashed too so he was like yeah psh, it's time to get rid of and then they killed the brother 
Never. Eventually, later. He's like, oh, you in the way, my G. I'm you a dark spirit killed. too. I don't know. You about, about to get this. killed. So so check it out. So the lady, I, f- I don't even remember her name. She was under the impression that her estranged husband was really a spirit name, some weird name like mm-hmm. Ted something or other. She's like, yep, mm-hmm, Ned. Yep. Ned, that's Ned, him. Ned something something or other. Yep, that's Ned. Ned doing all that talking in Homeboy's spirit. And Homeboy, pobrecito, bro, he was like crying out for help like emailing the whole family and even even ask the cops to come and the cops you know are always going to be on the female side because she was persuasive too and so it was like okay cuckoo y'all are having problems y'all need to figure this out so basically the uh the husband right who was like the first one first domino to go he would send out like this group email saying like, hey, dude, she's losing her marbles. She's in a cult. She's talking about all this crazy spiritual stuff. And she thinks my body's possessed by some dude named Ned something or other. And she has a list of good spirits, bad spirits, or light and dark and this mm-hmm. and that, right? And uh, everyone threw him crazy. They were just like, mm, yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. And they really thought he was, he was the crazy one. Like, he's just saying this because she no longer wants to be with you type of thing. And she had a podcast, too. She was talking wild shit. <laughs> <What>? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Which allegedly, hey, that part I, I wanted to leave out because, you know, th- just because you got a crazy podcast, <laughs> you talk wild shit, don't mean you crazy. Well. Just putting that out there. Everybody listens to RPT. Unless you're a little throat. Yeah. Slightly throat off. Slightly. But uh, but look, when we were done with that series, right, it was impactful. We're talking about dead children. <laughs> we're, dog, we're talking about dead seven-year-old. And I'm, I'm just like, bro, how did, did he poison the kid? Like, what the fuck, bro? Because they don't really tell you. And I guess because he hasn't confessed and neither has she, right? Because he still claims he's innocent. And so they haven't asked her. She's still sitting in jail. And her oldest, her eldest son, who dodged this whole situation because he was already older, right? Married. Had his own kid. Um, yeah, and so he's re- he records his him and his mother's conversation while she's in jail, and she's like, "I'm sorry." He's like, "What are you sorry for? Like, do you know what you're sorry for?" He's like, my siblings are dead. Yeah, bro. and and she's like, "Yeah, I miss them too." Like, real nonchalant. I'm like, yeah, I miss them too. No, no tears, no remorse, no no confession, no nothing, like nothing. It, it it was out of out of this world, and the mom and the sister literally went on like the new like some kind of TV sit down media tour of like a, like saying like no like my daughter would never, would never hurt her kids. And then there's a recorded combo between the mother and the daughter now that she's sitting in jail, and she's like, "Mom, you know I would never do this to my kids. You know you know my kids better. Th- you know how I am with my kids better than anyone." And so she went and like plead pleaded for her innocence, like you know, on all these like news medias and like this is and the sister. And then when she found out that her daughter did kill them, she was like, "What?" It's just like, like crazy, this, like de- crazy denial, bro. Just like won't break character like yeah uh-huh. and then and then when this series was done i was just thoroughly stressed out i'm thinking <laughs> i'm thinking like okay surely surely she don't want to back door and watch the jeffrey dahmer <laughs> she's like oh she's like oh jeffrey dahmer let's see what this is about i said you ready for this one he's like oh we're gonna watch this i'm like well, what it's like you scared <laughs> <laughs> yeah you a bitch my boy you a little bitch boy my boy you a little bitch and you think you think jeffrey gonna come get you uh like when i was growing up i remember it happened in 91 or something mm-hmm. i mean that was like the uh pop culture thing everyone's like oh jeffrey dahmer he fucking ate people jeffrey dahmer he had people he had bodies in his house and it was all over the news the trial and it's funny because you know, we talked about it on RPT, Red Pilt and Miles, tune in, where we were saying it's funny how the LGBT community was, aff- they were like, hey, don't put this on us. This ain't the kind of representation we want. And it's like, no, you're going to have to take, that's your people. You know what I'm well, saying? You're going to have to he take the good gay, with the bad. The bad. So and he, he is part gay of the, dudes. and he is part of the LGBT. Man, if it wasn't for that one gay guy that got away, they would have never, he would have continued to kill and store these bodies in his home. Oh, one guy got away. Yeah, that's yeah. how that's how he was busted. He got away. And he told got the away, cops. and like the, I thought it was going to go a different direction. Whenever he was like waving down the cops, and he was naked because he was black. You thought the cops black, was going to totally. Kill him. I was like, oh my god, because you, you bought into the lie. <laughs> well, wait, because they had just gotten a call too that there was a guy in this area. <clears throat> 
that remember and he was wearing a handcuff he was on one arm. he's like whoa, whoa, whoa where are you coming from bro yeah. why you got a handcuff so that could have been a uh yeah that could have turned into george floyd yeah something and so then he tells him this is where i was like all right well take me there the cops tell him and they took him there he's like this guy's trying to kill me man and he's like all right well let's go and so they're opening the door and at first they're like Ooh, mm, okay same. that's not until they went in at first it was like well can you can we get the key to this to this handcuff so this yeah, man can go like you know what's up and he's like all right let me oh weird let me go find it and then he's like okay well don't close the door like we're gonna go in there when they go in there it's just like this foul smell and they're like what is happening and he gives everybody the same story that's what's funny it's like pork my chops. family likes pork chops and they actually I like they, to cook <laughs> pork chops and they gave me pork chops and i didn't turn on the fridge the little freezer and it went bad yes and so then the one cop that's in there looking for this key opens the drawer and he's got polaroids of all the people that he's killed all the guys that he's killed and so he keeps track of them and so he's like what and so they he's arrest like, these him. are real mm -hmm. Holy at first shit. he didn't know he didn't know what it was he was like no these are real and then they found the bodies in the fridge said, boom y'all ain't got to watch the whole first episode we didn't get you <laughs> they found the bodies in the he had container. a head bro he had a head in the fridge my g and it's funny because they always show him a, yeah they always show him grabbing a beer but they never show like it, it just always opens, opens just slightly kind of slight, yeah but i already knew what the director was doing mm. i was peeping game mm. and um Way to break down the wall string of the show and you know what well Me you know what's funny i do the same thing too we'll sit there and I'm like bro because we this, already knew we knew like, since this, the 90s he this had edit bodies. i told him i was like we'll be watching something like did you just see this edit She's i like, mean that's no. a fire transition my boy yeah I, i'll say so. <laughs> my boy <laughs> that's exactly what i said oh my god my g yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay first of all round of applause for nisi nash killing the supporting uh role oh yeah it was nisi nash i knew it was like i couldn't what else for nisi nash in um one of the uh funny I think it was one of Ice Cube's movies. Oh, I don't know. But can't nobody smoke a cigarette in silence like Niecy Nash? Because you see all her thoughts on her face. She's just like... Looking at the air vent like... Like, I know that white boy up to something. Uh-huh, because the smell was coming through her vents. Oof. So he and, lived above her. Or next mm -hmm, to her. Next door. Next door. And so she was like... Allegedly. I saw you throw. I saw you throw away meat. What are you talking about? Because he's like, you said you to me, you gave me that story last, last week. week, and he just comes towards her and she starts shitting bricks because he's like coming, and I was like, oh my god, he's gonna freaking kill her because she's, she's starting to suspect. Like, you ain't my type of meat. <laughs> that's exactly what he said. No, you ain't no chile meat. <laughs> but <laughs> it's coochie meat. It's crazy. Um, I was only about ten years old when this happened. So I don't have the best memory of it, but I remember like my aunts and stuff talking about it, you yeah, know, Jeffrey Dahmer. It was yeah, everywhere. It was everywhere. Yeah. I mean, it's a serial. It's think about the story, bro. Like a serial killer cannibal that had bodies in his fridge in Milwaukee, bro. And then he says, um, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah, I thought it was Idaho. Mm -mm. That's the other story where they found where oh, they dug up is, the bodies. I'm sorry. Um, my baby you know geography sometimes that should be kind of <laughs> i tricky. know where i'm i just thought it was idaho but you're know. right but it was idaho was the other uh mm -hmm. we've watched so many of these series and he's like this is right up your because when guys let me tell y'all something when i first met chingo i was obsessed with discovery id i watched so much of like the forensic files type stuff because them kind of show at mm -hmm. one point i told you guys i was a criminal justice major so that's my jam and i love it i still love it so for me watching all this it's like oh my god and he's like yep he's like this is, all, this is your, yeah exactly what he said i said <laughs> yeah this is because this is my like i'm totally like obsessed with stuff like that like stories of like we talked about this why are most women into that into oh, like weird sickly shit yeah they all want to watch true crimes and murder I investigations love true crimes. listen i'm going to tell you this twilight zone one do you remember the twilight zone oh i mean i know God. of it but i never You're saw so it. little um, i was two when you Dahmer weren't even happened. you weren't even alive <laughs> i was two that's what he wasn't yeah. trying to eat you <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even walk um, <laughs> you was fine walking through jeffrey Dahmer neighborhood <laughs> um, hey jeff <laughs> there was a hey. twilight if anybody's watched the twilight zone there was this one i never forget it but it's the best way to kill someone <laughs> i'm telling you i know which one it is because she done told me this one and so they're like in this like old dirt road you know how it is like needville mm -hmm. 
type yeah. deal. Old, old Town Road. Old Town Road. Road. Exactly. Lil and, Nas X. Uh, and so he, to- she like, this was going on. She totally killed this person, poured cement on him. Turned That's a great idea. Made him a rock. Made him into little concrete, broke it all up, turned it all into pebbles, and just drove on, on these dirt roads and just sprinkled all the little pieces of concrete. Pebble rocks. Pebble rocks. Pebbles. Human pebbles. Holy and then after that, the only reason, the only reason this girl, this lady got caught was because a finger didn't get chopped all up pebble. all the way chopped up and so they found somebody was walking they're like oh, yeah what's that found a finger huh what? that's a weird pebble is that huh. not crazy that pebble otherwise this person would have you went missing bro they're never gonna find you they turned you into fucking pebbles what it was is homeboy had a fungus toenail <laughs> it, it didn't break do- tell us more chingo <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't break down all the way so that's what's gonna save me <laughs> if, if somebody ever tried to turn me into pebbles my fungus toenail is going to give it away. It's going to be a clue. We're like, 30 years later, they're going to be like, huh, looks like that pebble has fungus. That looks familiar. Hey, hey, they start they start uh, digging it to see what kind of fungus it is. And then they start of, yeah. doing experiments on it. On an old town road. Hey, what if y'all find out? Hey, what if y'all find out later that Lil Nas X is like the modern day Jeffrey Dahmer on an old town road? I wouldn't be surprised. Same. But does but Penny does like one of his songs, right? Yeah, which one? Which song- first of all, as a parent, I would have never clicked play on that kids' bop. It's kids' bop. Oh, uh, I was playing kids' but, bop for her. But they commies over there. They know what they're doing, bro. Yeah, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They being slick. They're like, yeah, put Lil Nas X on kids' bop. Well, Penny loves that one song. Uh, where does it go? No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. The one that all the Christians yeah. had a issue with because he was like was twerking God or on some, Satan. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. the one. She goes, Mom. Every time she's driving, she's like, Mom, can you play that? What I call me? Uh, I'm on my, my way. Wait, I'm on my, my way in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> she sure does. No, mom, man. Where to go, like, Chico, bro? Go? Parenting. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, bro? No, this is all news to me. I get in the car. Hey, play the one penny light. Which one is that? Uh, Montero. <laughs> Lil Nas That's X. Exactly I'm like, Lil, Lil Nas X? I'm like, the one where he was uh, twerking on Lucifer? I mean, it's on he was Kid Bop, it up. so I thought it was going to be innocent. And then I hear the song playing, I'm like... I'm like, the one where he was backing it up on Beezabub? Just because there's a youth pastor singing, it doesn't mean it's kid-friendly. <laughs> youth pastor? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. A youth pastor singing that kids bop? <laughs> I'm just a suit. That's what they sound like. Oh, that's funny. A youth oh. pastor singing. That's hilarious. Shout out to listener kids on YouTube. It's like well, this on, little light of they're mine. On, uh, Apple. They're on Apple too. Mm-hmm. Listen to kids, boy. Mm-hmm. I got the joy, 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 joy. So he'll come in life. singing that. Legit. Just start yeah, at the top I of his know. lungs. Well, That's, hey, sometimes we you sing you it got, all the time. You got to psych yourself up. You got to flood your mind, your wavelength with the Lord. Penny Big will dog. get in the car when we're on the way to somewhere and I'm like, what do you want to listen to? She'll be like, joy, joy, joy. And I'm like, okay. And then she'll just go off on, I got the joy. Oh, um, and and Sunny, who can't even talk or anything just yet, she loves the one that says Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Pra- praise be the Lord, or something. She put her hand and up. she goes like this. Up. She goes, she goes. Praise the uh-huh. Hallelujah. But she just hums because she obviously can't talk. So you just hear her. I'm like, you like this one, huh? Because she just. <laughs> but she be hitting the hips. <laughs> you should have seen her today in her class, babe. What did she do? I, all, and they're like, oh, she came to dance. She did come to exercise today. That's all she was yeah, doing she, in her little exercise play. class today. She kept dancing. They, they, were, they were playing cute little songs. So I guess for her, it was like, oh, yeah, this is jamming. <laughs> that's how I know she has a little personality because when I take her to that class, all the parents never fails. At least some of the parents Everyone. comment on something she's doing yeah. like oh my god her little scoot she's really fast is that how she crawls or like oh okay she's she came to you know like uh same today all day and then when she woke up I, she was kind of like weird and i was like mm, you might want to do the egg i said because she was complimented so much today it was and like got, oh. i don't know maybe i mean mm. uh this episode of cafecito <laughs> time we want to take it time out right quick to uh thank our sponsors uh twin candle co 
uh, based out of H Town. I'm talking about uh, Twin Candle Co. 100% owned by two little twins that are only eight years old. Correct. Just so y'all know. Mm-hmm. That is a really cool story. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are hand poured candles, 100% soy wax. You can order yours right now. Just go to the website, twincandleco.com. Some of the best, I like to say scents and flavors, but they'd be like, hey, dog. Don't be saying flavors no more on our read because people thinking they can eat them because you know, they smell that good. Uh, we actually have a collab dropping real soon. Guess what the name of the candle is going to be? Tamales. Cafecito time. Ah, okay. Same ah, name. Okay. Same name as this show. Cafecito time. I can't wait. And are you going to tell them the other thing we have up our sleeve or are you going to keep that a secret? I don't even until... know what you're talking about. What other thing? Pier space? Coffee. Oh, we have, yeah, we do have a coffee collab, but right now that's neither here nor there. I don't know okay. what you, we got a lot of projects going on. Right <laughs> yeah, now, we do. right now we Shit. talking about friends of the podcast, mm-hmm. twincandleco.com. Um, I don't, these are unreleased smells, so I can't even name these smells right now, but hit the website up, pick the ones you like. I think they have some uh, scented little warm candle mix. What are them things? The, melts. Wax, the melts. Yeah. Wax Those are melts. my favorite. Have Probably. you smelled these all? I have not. Is this a new one? So uh, see which one you like uh, most, and then tell Chingo because he he picked his already, basically. Yeah. Of those two. Is, oh, whoa! Sorry. Oops. Coming in hot. That's all right. We burned it a minute ago. Mm, that smells damn good too. Let's smell this one. This one's called Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> that should have lit that after you. Dahmer fridge. This is what Dahmer should have had. You like that one? Mm-hmm. Okay, that might have to be something for her lounge. Okay. Uh, her scent. I don't know what you're gonna name. I you. love. I love. I love my favorite one right now, which Don said y'all weren't even selling, is the coffee and spice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes that that I just made that to see like because I like coffee and spice. Yeah, it, isn't and that so she this was one? like, uh-uh. no, no, it's different. She's like, I just made okay. it just to see if you guys isn't would. that the one that I said I had like. Uh, no, I don't think I brought that one. It's uh, it's very like fall specific. Yeah, she she gave me. I could have swore that's the one. She gave me a candle and or you gave me a candle mm-hmm. and the warmers. Yeah, I took it home. Oh, okay, uh-huh. then if you smelled it, then that is it. Yeah. See, yeah, that shit is. We got similar taste, bro. I, lo- I like that's my. I'll, sometimes we'll be going upstairs and I'm like, who's making? Oh no, one's who's making coffee. That's 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 my candle. See, this what <gasps> this what Nisi Nash needed in her apartment. And then Jeffrey mm. would have never got caught. You're right. Never would have. If he had one in his that's right in his apartment, uh-huh. he would have never gotten caught. True that. Uh, Coming early October. It'll cover uh, early October. Covers all kind of smells, in, including <laughs> including uh, cannibalistic activities. Oh my gosh! So <laughs> disgusting. What else we've been watching on Netflix? Okay, I did try to start the Vic- the Vicente one. The Vicente. No, I'm almost gonna, I know that's what I'm thinking about, right? <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Hey, no, that's, mind. that's the sponsor we need. Anybody got a little promo code? Uh, how much is it? Do Urgent Care got vasectomies? Because, oh my God. You know, because this is getting real iffy and scary, yeah. man. We got a one year old and Yahweh, yeah. We yeah, can't. for real. Luisa said, Are you sure you're done? I'm like, I'm sure I'm done. Luisa, what are you talking about? She goes, Well, I'm just saying, you know, I'm like, No, you're not saying anything. I'm like, We're completely God, done. Touch your mouth. You can't say shit. You ain't talking about a motherfucker. And then and then she tells me that she goes, and let's hope your kids don't decide to have kids as old as you though. She's like, because then you're gonna be like ninety before you'll ever get to see your grandkids. I'm like, trick. Damn, she has no filter. You gotta remember, Mighty Soul was a feminist. She was all about her career. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? She bought the cosmopolitan lie. She's a part of the problem. She should read Cosmo. I didn't care to have children. I really felt they were what they are. I just felt they were exploring in your side. A handful. Just, I didn't want to have that responsibility. She's like, I, like I my loved freedom. my freedom. I, I did. Up and, go. and then I went to Hawaii one day, one summer, and it and was I was like, there, and he was there, and I just said, I think I do want children. She's He's like, like, Come on, my clock is ticking. Are you sure? And I'm like. I was like, tell me when to go. Yeah. And then he was like, all right, well, I'm ready. She's like, and, I said, uh, I said, and I'm like, all right, I'm hey. done. And I said, all right. I said, all right, on my birthday. And he goes, no, why do we have to wait till your birthday? He's like, that's only a week away. What difference does it make? I was like, in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> tell me when I can bust loose. One of them was conceived in Vegas. One was conceived in Hawaii. Now, if you ask Stacey Abrams, my babies did not have a heartbeat until way later. Than, than what we heard. She said, she said, we're not going to go into politics, but <laughs> she said the sound you hear, the flutter, what you hear six weeks at the ultrasound. She said, that's, um, she said, that's fake. That's a little sound effect they put on the speaker so that the man could further oppress the women. Let's imagine this. My ex-business partner uh, was pregnant when she and I were in business together. 
And as her interpreter, I heard her baby's heartbeat. And I had to describe this heartbeat for her because obviously she's mm-hmm. deaf, right? Mm-hmm. So how do you I, describe it? How do you tell I said it? it's loud. It thumps, you know, it makes a beautiful sound. And it's, I mean, to her, it was like, ain't really? that something, bro? Like that's something people take for granted. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you're because hearing. I never thought. I oh, ne- yeah. All she did was like, get like, to, yeah. she, she, she only had her hand on explain. the machine. Um, to feel the vibration while she had her hand on the machine I'm describing the what the sound is like do you understand mm-hmm. so for her to say that that is a made up sound she's full of shit that's some whole ass shit dog I was there I described it there is no baby no doctor put no, nothing fake I mean there, it's just impossible and you know Planned Parenthood updated their definition of the heartbeat at six weeks Mm-hmm. They went and changed their whole definition. They were like, it's just cardiac activity. Because they're saying heartbeat bills. They're pop like, up. you just see a little something, but it ain't really all the way a heart. And they're like, that's a fetus, not a baby. Yeah. Ain't that some shit? The dev- the demons and the devil are rampant. These commies are out there. <laughs> so space. <laughs> it's going back to RPT. I know. But anyway, uh, that's a beautiful moment yeah. for you uh, to share. It was. It was a it was an it was the moment for me that I said, wow, like, this is an amazing thing. Like, I never really, to be honest with you, this is really mean to say, because I'm a mother now, right? But I just never really kind of like, mm, okay, so you're pregnant, cool. You're growing a human in you, you That's know? That's what's up. That's what's up, <laughs> you know? Good for you. We were all liberal. Hey, good for you that you want to be Damn miserable for the shots. rest of your life now. Now you have to take care of this person forever. <laughs> she was talking like he didn't come to the same conclusion at the same time as you. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sorry i'm gonna let him sound cool on the cafecito time but no but seriously it was a very like impactful moment for me to where i never forget it obviously like it was very impactful and i was just like holy shit this is like for one um she'll never get to hear her child's legit like hear it there's one thing to feel it but she'll never get to hear it and um it was just kind of one of those moments where i was like this is fucking dope that's why i love my left ear bro this is the one i can hear out of (laughs) What? Remember? No. I'm always like, turn up my headphones. Oh, I didn't yeah. know you had a one ear problem. You ain't heard about the ball of wax? Oh, yeah. I got to make time. <laughs> Mighty Soul's face. <laughs> hey, schedule. I'm going to ask my wife, Jer, schedule me some I time. have to schedule. Who the what hell is ringing that? the doorbell? Is one of and our, they're ringing it hard. One of the vehicles. Okay, Paul. Can Why? You pause? Whose vehicle? It's on my damn... It- <clears throat> we have to find a way to wrap up. Hey, so for new listeners, what can they expect for Cafecito time? We have no idea. We're just starting. I just think it's going to really be like hanging out with the blings, like legit. Like hanging just, with the blings. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, I don't want it to go politics, which, no, 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 which no, no, it no, no, may no, no, sometimes. No, no, no. We will have come. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, it's inevitable, culture, not yeah. because it's cultural. Yeah. It's exactly. You know, well, the like reason I shit. the reason I get triggered is because sometimes people uh, chingo mm-hmm. he's over yeah. here talking about this and that. But um, I think it's going to be really much everything, every day, parenting, life, business. I mean, I think a little bit of everything. Banter. Yeah. Relationships. Netflix. Which relationships I do want to talk about because I just saw this this uh, funny uh, spillover episode where they were talking about how conservatives have a hard time dating on the dating app. So a lot of people, if the minute you have anything American related, mm. it's like, bitch, don't know. I don't want to fuck with you. And so like, oh, there's, no there's no connection. There's no connection. Well, can't they find like uh, What's his name, babe? Alex Stein or what's his name? Alex Stein. Stein. Mm-hmm. He was guy. on there. Yeah. And so he's the one that is talking about it. He's like, I can't find a date. He's like, you know, because. That boy's viral. How he's can like, he? no one For wants real. to date. No one wants to date you know i guess a conservative and so she's also single so they're gonna go on a date together so it was funny That's but part just, of his plan. because it, no that was he he's, <laughs> he's been trying to hit it but um he <laughs> well, brought her flowers uh, uh, and who, everything who's the, chick? the host of, of uh, spiller name, alex? alex also alex clark but she's not a big booty latina which is what i she's thought she's not yeah uh, not i don't good. know if he, that's what he likes but i'm just saying but it was funny because they talked about Man. about swiping how conservatives <laughs> just don't they Rob's have a, like a christian app though Oh, Christian Ingles? Yeah, so why wouldn't you just go there? 
Which app specifically were they talking about being on? Uh, whichever one's you. Tinder, Tinder Bumble, yeah, Tinder. Coffee Meets Bagel, Loki okay Cupid. Oh my gosh, what is? Oh, sorry, sorry, Rob, sorry. you were no. on all of those? Oh yeah, it's like for shooting fish in a barrel back when America was free. OK Cupid. He's like back when they didn't have diseases. <laughs> OK Cupid with f- Coffee Bagel. Coffee Meets Bagel. What's coffee that? Meets What's coffee Meets Bagel. Coffee Meets Bagel. Uh, it was just it was kind of like I'm surprised you didn't say banana in a bagel. <laughs> well, is it? Does it mean like you? go to coffee that's kind of the thing yeah like you want people that want to meet up at coffee shops and then you know just kind of get to meet that's like your scene don't tell well, told that she can there be yeah. friends? <laughs> like are there people there that could, you could be friends with not necessarily date it always starts as hey you want to be friends and then it's like let's go to my place that's hilarious oh coffee wow. meets bagel yeah you and, got me you got me at coffee and then you had to buy like you had to pay for like in-app purchases you'd pay for coffee beans and that's how you could put it in the machine in the coffee machine to meet more bagels so the women were the bagels Wait, so these, these these they weren't literal coffee beans, right? Yeah, in the app, the whole it was all themed around. Yeah, coffee so like and bagels, it's like yeah. the coin, right? Like the coin, yeah. So you're buying more coffee beans to me, and the chicks are the bagels. You would have got me, babe. Like if I would have been on there, I'd have pulled you one way or the other. Ah, Re- hey, hey, regardless, <laughs> <laughs> shit. When pop, when Papa knows what he wants, and Papa, Papa knows what he likes. Gets. Papa gonna get. <laughs> well, the other Papa the other big one happen. is uh, Bumble, which gave the women all the power. Alleged, what, allegedly right, right? That's, and that's, that's like she was the one that women are the ones that ask the guy out is that how exactly, that works yeah okay the women could be the only ones to send the dm the guys couldn't send it because on tinder it's just constant dudes are just flocking to chicks dms it's dudes Got hollering it. yeah so on bumble the dude can't holler right the, the chick dude, has to initiate so she has so to initiate we're the it. prey yes we're the prey they're yeah. the prey oh wow that's interesting they make us the betas you know they, yeah. we have to wait for them to reach it's out. like it's, it's like the dudes are like hey man we, but what if a guy's interested in her it don't can't, matter. It's, it don't matter. It's, it's he like he can't send her a message. Mm-mm. Stop. It's like really? we got the meat. She has to be. It's basically give the women all the power. Like have her reach out to the guy first. Otherwise, you can't talk to her. It's like the uh, what is it like the Amazon chick? Like they're the wow. fucking they're initiating she's, she's everything. Yeah. And we're just here with the meats. Yeah, just we're right. over here like Arby's. Like wants, I, got, I got all this I meat. Got the meat. Who wants all this meat? I'm, we're gonna end it with something like funny, and I want to see if this is you or not you, Rob. But okay. give me a second, y'all keep going, and let me find this. Well, did you thing. ever? You never got to use Absinthe, did no, you? No, sir. Not one. Just game. Just drip. Sauce. Hey, stop. Yeah. Stop. Mr. I swear to God. What do you mean? Stop. Problems, stop. Shy what? kid. Stop what, <laughs> my boy? You never used an app, really, babe? No. Oh wow. None of that. None of your friends. Not an account. None of that. Uh, friends. You never uh, knew friends that were like, hey, you should get on this dating app. Nah, not that I know of. No. Mm. Was, the dating app back then was called the club. Yeah, exactly. That's like you went, you turned up, you had your little alcohol, and it was chicks, and they were around. In the future, the club's going to be in the metaverse. So see, oh, this is awful, the bait. But yes, here's the bait we used to use. You know what I'm saying? You had like some rims, had some bling bling, had speakers in some your car. Spinners. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You use a rapper and shit like that. You know what I mean? You had posters. Like, yeah. what's up? I'm somebody. The trunks rattling. If you, if you walk into the record store right now, you're gonna find some of my titles. So what it do? I got the meats. <laughs> That was the app. I got the meat. That was the bumble. Okay. All right. I you mean, you me? are a little older. I see. It makes sense. I mean, uh, yeah, dog. I mean, damn. How many kids? How many kids are on this earth because of those apps? Oh, so many. So many babies. Right now, they're all babies, obviously. It's been in the last five, five to ten years. Well, no, five to three to five years. It's a whole bunch of little kids. It's hardcore, yeah. Just baby making. That's great. So what was the first app you got on? Producer, DJ producer Big Rob. The first one was Tinder. Okay. And then the other ones came in. Okay, so first you got addicted. You got I, I got addicted to laying down the pipe on Tinder. And, and was it uh was it like holy shit, this yeah. shit's it's happening. Yeah. And would it always be a date first? Like where would you meet up? We would always just find a just find like a hot dive bar. That was my place. Like, hey, you want to go to this dive, like a small bar, not a club or anything like that. Okay. We're not going to the movies and shit. Yeah, yeah. All so right, now y'all let's drinking. Ask, what yeah. did you do with Don? I actually met her in real life, ironically. So the person I you ended met up her with, in real life. Yeah. Oh my god, that's not the, hilarious. Not the metaverse. No, not the metaverse. <laughs> not the Tinderverse. I didn't meet her on an app. All the ones that I did meet on an app didn't work out. So there you go. That's usually how it works. It just doesn't work out with people you meet on an app. Why do you think that is? Because I've known people that get married from an app. How many? You can count on one hand, right? You're pretty much. Yeah, yeah. That's that's it. They're outliers. They're, they're the exception, not the rule. So you saying it's a leftist progressive uh, trap? To, di- to disrupt the nuclear family? Straight trap. Is that what you're saying, my brother? Straight trap. 
you saying it's communism? It is. It's to like make the woman feel that she needs to be modern and progressive yep. and, and hand out the disguise in pleasure, you know? Yeah. Like a girl. Yeah. Get yours, girl. You reach out first. Don't it's let about, him message yeah. you. It's power. Yeah. Get yours. Let him gravel or grovel at, you with know, talking little, to you. you. Stop messing with these selfish little boys. Get yours. Yeah. Give him a little poke. Remember on Facebook, you can poke people and shit. Like give him this little the like nudge. nudge. And shit. Yeah, that was a different kind of poem. All right. I'm not going to be able to find it. But anyway, I thought it was hilarious because it said, like, where you were if you're, like, the eldest, the middle child, or the baby, right? Mm-hmm. And usually it says, like, the baby has the fun, the baby of the family has the fun personality. They're the outgoing. They're kind of, like, always the fun, carefree because they're the last one. And pretty mm. much mom and dad... We're like, fuck it, we're done. Like, do whatever the fuck you want to uh, do, type that of makes thing. Sense. You know? Uh, middle child is seeking attention. They're the weirdos. Uh, they're always the weirdos, that kind of thing. And then the <laughs> eldest are. are the ones that have anxiety, <laughs> perfectionist, overachievers, must like mu- everything must be perfect. Control and freak. Con- need the most control therapy. Freak. Need the most therapy. Control freaks. I was like, swipe. Yeah, that's you. Oh, that's me. Jingle, what are you? He's I'm the, the baby. baby, but I'm like far removed baby. Like to where my sisters are 13 years older and 10 years older. So it's almost like it starts over. So it's like now you also have the anxiety like the oldest because it was that big gap. Mm. What and are you? You also control free. I guess I'm technically the uh, oldest because it's just me and my sister have the same parents. But out of your... Out of everybody, I'm the uh, second to youngest. Second to youngest. Yeah. Mm. There's five of us. So three, and then y'all yeah, two. three, and then us and two. two. Mm. But out of everybody, I'm definitely like hate to you know two my horn life of the party. Like let's have fun, let's go out. Do kind Cause of because you're Libra, <laughs> duh, it's Libra true. season. It's true. Here go the debate. Ready <laughs> on RPT. Uh, I guess somebody in the Discord. Oh, Harold Cano on the Discord said, uh, "Weed is, is better than alcohol." Mm-hmm. Prove me wrong, type of thing. Change my mind. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and basically we got into a little debate where. You know, Mr. Life of the Party over here is basically his perception. What Rob said, and I'm gonna paraphrase, right? Put words in your mouth. <laughs> well, he's like the alcohol people, the social lu- social lubricant. They're the ones that are like more upbeat. Life of the party, like he just said. He's like the people that smoke. They're over there by the swing at the party. They're not really over here playing <laughs> the sweet. games. It's he's true. like they're over there looking at the stars, talking about dumb shit. <laughs> it's true. And I was like, I was like, first of all, weed affects everybody different, right? I was like. I did the alcohol already, and there's just so many things that come with it, like the hangovers, the bad decisions, um, sugar, calories, like whatever, right? Okay, that's the adult version of thinking about alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because for me, after I started bodybuilding, you couldn't get me to have a, like a beer. It was sure. like, this is not worth it. This is the, like the empty calories are not worth it to me. I'd rather go have a cheat meal, yeah, right, than a beer. Yeah, she's like, I'd rather so, have cheese, yes. melted cheese. Yeah, yeah cheese. of course. Yeah, and I was like, bro, you never seen me hit the weed and do yoga. I was like, it don't make everybody. He's like, usually weed makes people all veg out. They just want to be lazy on the couch. Yeah, I'm not a productive person. I'm you know, either. there's people that like can get focused and they accomplish. I mean, I went. The girl who graduated top of our class was a weed smoker and i never understood it and she was like smartest all of the above and before we would go to class we would go to the bathroom and she would smoke i wouldn't smoke but she would and i'm like oh my god she's like girl if it wasn't for this girl (laughs) she's like if it wasn't for this she's like i don't know if i'd ever if i'd be in any of these ap classes and i was like what i was like oh she's that's interesting because i've already told this story on on my podcast hi i'm one of those kids that were totally affected by the dare program (laughs) and i really believed that the guy that they used to come in and on a wheelchair right was was, was because of weed so i was that person like oh my god she's gonna end up on in a wheelchair if she doesn't stop smoking you know and yet she was top of the class i don't know you know they're still out there doing the damn thing right dare they yeah, are? but it, yeah. oh, you know what? They were collecting money one time outside of pot belly sandwiches. They're always outside of Game Stops and um, um, f- uh, Five Below's. Mm. And, and I said, "What's y'all stance on the marijuana?" And they were like, "Uh,", uh and I was like, "Yeah, bitch, fuck out my <laughs> face, commie." And I All right, but off. what if one of our girls came to you and they wanted to come? Smoke? I don't. I don't answer hypotheticals. Next What's question. What's the age? <laughs> What's the age? That's okay. I don't answer hypotheticals. Well, you know what? No, you can't. I mean, nah, they ain't finna be all young and shit. But look, 
I will say this. Did you notice me smoke yesterday? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Can you know? Could you tell that like, oh, this motherfucker ain't smoke? Totally, because he wasn't really nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's really nice to me. You see, there's he's, another. There's another. I'm he's talking about we went to bed. So nice to me when he smokes. <laughs> oh my god, it's like. Hey, babe, you need anything? Yes. No, just like that. <laughs> How did I know she was gonna say that? I'm going. You turn it down, trouble. Is there anything? Is there anything? I'm going upstairs. Did you need me to refill your water? I'm like, okay. Did you smoke? I said, oh, you just smoked. Okay, I yeah, got no it. empathy. Okay. Damn. Well, probably in those situations, what it is is like all the weight of the stress of all the problems in the world, everything is like temporarily set aside. But the point I was trying to make is I had my endorphins from my cardio from my class. Uh, so it's almost like there, yeah. I'm already high. I don't, yeah. need, I don't even want that. It's going to mess up the high I already earned. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And that's the point I was trying to make. Really, okay. really bit Before, you in the ass there, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honesty bit him in the ass. Yeah. Hey, if you guys have a business or a company and you want to sponsor Cafecito Time, come on over. Where do they send info, Marisol? Marisol at chingobling.com. And we will it send will you the packages. We will gladly send you our packages and our options. So we'd gladly promote your business. You can, have, you, you can have your business right here on the lower third of the screen, just like these other sponsors, right here. Yep. Or your logo right here or your product right here holla at us cafecito time yo thank y'all so much for listening tuning in we want to add more content out there so are we doing this on a weekly or are we doing this maybe i'm yeah. down to be on a yeah. weekly yeah if you can what day is it going to drop so people can expect it good question that's mm-hmm. difficult sometimes yeah. to be consistent well no because if we record yeah. my day or your day it'll still we drop whatever on your day yeah on my day yeah mm-hmm. but then you gotta ask whoever's gonna upload and all yeah that. yeah me obviously come well, on ask him got, him yeah the yeah so we do we'll do three that way we already do three tuesday we'll do three on monday and then just pick a day to drop it mm-hmm. so it'll either be wednesday thursday well, or friday because none of us have a podcast we all have podcasts on fridays oh y'all do too yeah everybody. what day do, do y'all not drop we drop wednesday thursday friday and you drop uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday. So maybe we do Thursday? like a Tuesday or Thursday. But if we, oh, yeah, we can do Tuesday. 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 If we record it Monday, yeah. <clears throat> cool. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Y'all Jingle be safe. Com. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm on tour. Uh, I don't know where I am. <laughs> I don't know where I am tonight because I don't know when this drops. But uh, hit up the website. We do have San Antonio and, and uh, Addison. Addison, Vegas, Addison, Salt, Vegas Lake City. Salt Lake City. And that's about it. So, hey, y'all be Crazy. safe. Peace. Bye.